You can see on the sole here, Wilson, six. Staff Tor Blade, the Queen of England, President Donald Trump, Barack Obama. What do all of these people have in common? None of them have the Wilson Staff Tor Blade in their golf bag. This is a fun club from the late 70s. It started, it started on sale in 1978 and was on sale through 1980. Did I say fun? Maybe that's the wrong word. It's rather serious. Look at the club. Let's have a detailed look and we'll talk a little bit more about it. So on the sole, you can see Wilson with the number, which looks like for some reason the same font all the other irons have. I wonder if they're made like in the same factory or something, because why do they all have the same, is it, I don't know, the golf font. Staff tour blade towards the toe here, and then the hosel here with some aesthetic crimping. And look at this ferrule. At first it looks like just a normal black ferrule, but if you look closely at the top you'll see two layers of a translucent blue two little translucent blue rings there at the top. Not sure if that's gonna show up, if I can catch the light just right to capture that glimmer of blue. And there's some damage to that ferrule. It looks like it started sliding up the shaft. And so, maybe somebody tried to hammer that down. Either way, I'm not even sure if that's the original ferrule. Could have been reshafted for all I know. Uh, the shaft is a red line. Last week we talked about the <laughs> Ben Hogan red line dynamic you know see Wilson branded dynamic looks like a stiff flex shaft right here and then we have a golf pride is that cordy right there half cordy grip multi-compound and there we have it uh, that's what it looks like now what do you think of the looks of this club let's go out and hit a few shots and we'll be right back. Wilson Staff Tor Blade. We're gonna give it a little workout here. Grip is great. Top line is great. The club looks amazing. Seems like I will be the weak link here. Hitting a Pro V1, some ancient Pro V1 golf ball I found on the course. I have several of them here. All right, let's see how we do today. Slightly cutty, slightly thin. My normal shot's a cut, so I'm normally aiming a little bit to the left of target. So that would have been probably fine. Maybe a little more, a little more left to right than I would want. Now I'm a little slightly dry, which is always dangerous. Very lovely club. I mean, it felt great. I mean, stunningly great. I can't believe these clubs are going on, what, 40, 40, 50 year old clubs sometimes feel just absolutely stunning. That one was pretty cutty. It looks like my layers caught it here. Wow. This was a joy to hit. Now, how do I feel about the looks? To me, this is like a tuxedo. Okay, very reserved. In men's fashion, less is more. And as nice as that is, I'm not sure if that's my personality. Am I a tuxedo? Am I gonna wear a dinner suit when I at every meal? No, that's not me. So yes, this is in great condition. This is in pristine condition considering it's 40 years old. There are some little nuances, like you'll notice the grooves aren't symmetrical. This side is square. But this side is rounded. It looks like they start or ended the grooves on this side. So not perfect, cosmetically. Uh, so overall, looking here at this, I'm not sure if this is my style. It's a lovely blade. It has this organic, muscular, like fondle me baby kind of look to it, which is really appealing in a reserved sort of way. I, I don't know if that's my personality. If that's yours, leave a comment. If you think President Trump should game some of these, put some of these in his bag, leave that in the comment too because that makes for great conversation. So here we are picking, picking vintage golf clubs for the current U.S. presidents. 
or ourselves. All right, let's face it. We're, we're here for ourselves. Should I get a set of these and put these in my bag? I'm still worried about the condition of this because this looks great in this condition, but once some bag chatter dings this all up, it'll look very average. So I'm excited to read what you guys have to say about the lovely Wilson Staff Tor blade here. Look how thin that butter knife is. I am the Vintage Golfer. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this content.